When you're coming into a food co-op like this, you might see a lot of similarities to a typical grocery store. You know, we have healthy, delicious food and a produce section, but we have some unique differences that we prioritize local, organic, sustainably sourced, and ethically sourced food. I like to think about it as kind of a year-round farmer's market where we have local produce a little later in the season where you can come in and shop still. All right, so welcome to Mississippi Market. We're here at our East Summit store. A cooperative is an organization that is owned by the people who use its services. So inherently with a co-op, since we are owned by our community, that's who we respond to at the end of the day. So whatever that community uh, is asking for and demanding for is how the co-op responds. And so that's how it can be so community focused. All right, so as we're walking down here, you're able to see on our different signs exactly where your food is coming from. So you can see if it's local, but you can also see that is from Minnesota. So really being able to pick and choose what food you're eating and how many food miles it's taking. So Mississippi Market has over 18,000 members, but you do not need to be a member to shop ever. Anyone can shop and everyone is welcome. And that's a Mississippi market value, but it's also one of the cooperative principles that govern co-ops worldwide. So it's really in our DNA to be open to everyone, um, everyone who wants to come in and shop. Becoming a member at the co-op kind of unleashes this next level of ownership. I like to think about what can I actually own in society? I could own a house, perhaps if I'm lucky, a car. A very few, a few of us could own our own business but actually creating that ownership by becoming a member at a co-op is that next level of voice in your community. So in here, this is our bulk section. So in bulk shopping, we're really looking at minimizing packaging, reducing waste, and really a value shopping experience. So coming in to shop at the co-op doesn't have to be all that much different than a typical grocery store, but for example, in my experience, when I started shopping here full time, I did adjust my shopping pattern slightly just to make sure that my purchases were still in line with my budget. And that's really came to down to eating less meat, eating a more sustainable diet, um, buying most of my food in bulk because it's sometimes 50% cheaper to bring in your own container and buy your flour or rice in bulk instead of a package. So looking at those types of lifestyle changes that are better for the environment but also are a little more economical, while I can still shop at the co-op and support those values. But my favorite thing about buying avocados at the co-op is that you can always find one that's perfectly ripe. So my pet peeve of going to another grocery store is that oftentimes they're either way too ripe or not ripe at all. Um, it's really the care that our produce team puts into making sure that produce is rotated, that what's on the floor is exactly right and ready to buy. A co-op is uniquely positioned to be able to keep its dollars local. All of its stakeholders are right here. So every dollar you come in and spend at the co-op is $1.60 that's generated in the local economy. That's because of this multiplier effect. So when you're spending your dollar with us, then all of a sudden we create local jobs, buy our local produce, all of our local farmers, and then when we're profitable, we share those profits back to our members. So all that money stays right here in the community. Above all, a co-op shopper is someone who loves good food, who loves cooking, gardening, who cares about how that food is produced and really cares about their community.